सो रिसर्च ऑब्जेक्टिव डिटरमाइन द एम ऑफ योर रिसर्च वॉट यू एक्चुअली वॉन्ट टू अचीव एज द आउटकम ऑफ योर रिसर्च टू अंडरस्टैंड द रिसर्च ऑब्जेक्टिव यू नीड टू फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड द रिसर्च एम रिसर्च एम डिफाइन्स द मेन पर्पज ऑफ योर रिसर्च एंड रिसर्च ऑब्जेक्टिव आर द स्टेप्स दैट यू नीड टू टेक टू फुलफिल योर रिसर्च एम जनरली रिसर्च ऑब्जेक्टिव अपियर अर्लियर इन योर रिसर्च प्रपोजल often between your introduction part and your research question part so research objective is like the backbone of your project it helps you to evaluate your research methodology as well as your conclusions since these objectives will help you significantly to clear out your research methodology as well as save you from doing unwanted experiments now talking about the steps that you need to take in order to frame your research objective first you should be clear about what shortcomings your research is going to address when you have done this the second step is to is to prepare your research aim which at this stage would be rel- relatively broad now you have to break down your research aim in the third step into smaller research aims which are practically achievable in the step 4 you need to make sure that your research objective is achievable considering to the local conditions this means that if or in order to do your research if you need to access a certain kind of data or you need a sir sir certain kind of instrument and if that instrument is not easily accessible to you then that research objective is not practically approachable or not realistic for you in step 5 you you need to make sure that you are using some of the action verbs in your research objectives here i am listing some of some of the action verbs that you can use in your research objectives some of them which you can use and some of them which you should not use and lastly in the step 6 you need to review your research objective to make sure that it is relevant to your research aim it is achievable and it is clear and specific now let's understand this with the help of an example let let us suppose your topic is the impact of social media on the mental health of youth now in the first step you will identify the shortcomings here you will review the existing literature on the impact of social media on the ma- ma- on the mental health of youth in the step 2 you will define your research aim which can be to shed light on the impact of social media on the men- on the mental health of young people in the step 3 you will break down this research aim into smaller research objectives some of the possible breakdowns of this research aim into smaller objectives are listed here on your screen in the step 4 you need to make sure that your research objectives are realistic they are achievable within the constraints of your local conditions resources and available data in the step 5 you you need to make sure that you are adding some of the action verbs to your research objectives if we pick any of the one objective from our step 3 and add a action verb to it our resulting research objective w- would look something like this in the step 6 you need to review your research objectives to make sure that it is relevant to your research aim clear concise and achievable so taking the examples that we have considering till now one of the achievable research aim seems to be evaluate the impact of social media usage on various aspects of mental health such as stress anxiety and self esteem now if we have a look at this research objective it is clear it is specific it is a relevant objective that can be achieved 
within the scope of the research. Now, I have also listed some of the possible other re research objectives that can be created out of this major research chain. Take a moment and have a look at them. So if you will see that we have broken down this research aim into various things. In the first one, we have specified the age group. In the second one, we have specified the aspects, aspects like mental well-being, stress, anxiety. In the third one, we have talked about the coping mechanisms. And in the fourth one, we have talked about recommendations. So, a bigger research aim has been broken down into smaller research objectives and then we will try to analyze each of them to make sure which one is actually usable for us. The only big tip to write your research objective in, in a nice way is to use an action verb. So you can see some of the research objectives like the first one. Here we have used the word determine. To determine if video games inhibit a child's socialization skills. To access whether or not playing a video game for prolonged time causes an eye strain. To compare the muscle development of children who play video game to those who don't. So here we have taken some of the aspects and created many research objectives and also use the action verbs with them. Now let's evaluate some of the research objectives to make sure what they are lagging in them and improve them. So our first objective to review is determine if sunlight can cause cancer. If you can see here, this research objective is very vague. It is not specific. Sunlight can cause cancer. Which type of cancer? Which specifically are you talking about? Are you talking about everybody? No, that's also not possible. Any researcher as a part of his research cannot take every age group into the account, right? And we are not sure about which type of cancer they are ta talking about. So we will kind of re refine it and use the same action verb as they have used here. So the improved research objective becomes determine if prolonged sun exposure increases subjects risk of skin cancer. Here we have included the duration of sun exposure. We have not said that okay we have a time for which sun exposure is fine but we are saying if we are going more than that then it can cause cancer. Now, which type of that cancer? Skin scan. Skin, skin cancer. Now, here we can also specify an age group if you want to make it more specific. Now, let's go on to the second one. Measure the effect of radiation of living tissue on living tissue. Now, now which ra radiation? What level of ra radiation? What are you actually trying to study? Now, they have mentioned the living tissue. Which living tissue? Not specific. Completely wrong. Now, let's improve it. Okay. So, uh, firstly, which living tissue? We, we can specify it. Like something called as human living tissue. Right? Uh, which radiations? We don't know. We can specify any of them, alpha, beta, gamma, gamma. Let's uh, suppose we are going to talk about the gamma radiations. And um, see, radiations for a particular level are fine. But if you try to go beyond them, then only it can go ahead with this. So having that st st study of what level is also a very good thing and can be taken care. So, our research objective now becomes determine what level of gamma radiations is dangerous for human living tissue. In this way, you will make sure that your research objective is good, achieve, achievable, specific and relevant to your researching. I hope this video 
would have been useful for you. Take care.